Yes, hi. Well, it's me, Marco Hernandez, once again, and I am making this video, the second part of the video that I showed before, which is uh, getting started with Terminal. Uh, it was the Terminal 101. <laughs> uh, pretty much, I had to create a directory, uh, a folder, if you will, on a desktop using Terminal. Uh, this video will be about how to create a file within that folder that you've created using Terminal. Um, as you can see on the screen, um, the last this I, I already did it. It worked for me, and I'm going to show you guys the folder that I created using Terminal. Um, it's my test folder, and if you open it up, you see my test file. If you open that up, you see that I written the test file was XSS. So let's get started. Now, if delete this. Awesome. We can create a new one. Uh, now, if you will open Terminal, okay. Okay, okay, okay. My bad. Okay. Anyways, so we're on. We're in Terminal. We want to go to the desktop, create a folder, and then create a file within that folder. Um, just go to the desktop. CD change directory desktop to enter into the directory of the desktop to, to the desktop via terminal. Uh, click enter and you'll see the, where, that we're in the desktop. Okay, of the user Marco Hernandez. Okay, so to see what's inside the desktop, um, we click on we type in ls for list to see the available the avail the available directories or file or whatever is in store for us in here uh, as you can see this is my desktop I'm in Arkham City once again my pics my movies and etc etc uh, remember in the last video to make a directory a folder we type in the word MK for make and DIR for directory all together that's MKDIR now we want to make a folder like we did last video space I'm gonna name this one test to make it simple okay enter and as you can see on the desktop it appeared test so we want to get into this folder called test we type in cd for change directory type in the directory's name enter uh, as you can see we're in the directory test in the user marco hernandez so we type in ls list to see what's available in it and currently nothing is so this is the part uh pretty much what i did just now was a review from last video what would what i'm about to do now is the new stuff so let's make let's start making a file. To make a file, you have to type in the word touch. It's a command to make a file. Okay. Now touch space whatever you want to name the file. In this case, I want to name my file um, test. My bad. Test space file. Remember. Yeah. Remember that the word, the file name. Um, the file name, if it's two words, you have to put it into quotations. Um, okay, so we created that. Now we type in list to see what's available inside of it and enter. And we see here that you have the file name right here, test file. Now to open that file and start creating the file, you type in nano and then the quotations test test space file file enter and then you start writing stuff yeah 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 oops my bad you to save this option zero O my bad O that's to save the file my bad there you go and um it's not option it's control by the way and to exit it is control X Okay, now to check if what you wrote is still in there, at last you type in nano to open the file, test, oh, my bad, you see what I did there, quotation, test, space, file, quotation, enter, and sure enough, it's there. Okay, now to exit, control X, and remember, net the command, the new commands that we just did was nano, nano is a the word to open a test. Uh, to open the file that you've created, okay, and to create a file, 
type in touch space the name of the file that you want to name it okay um, to exit this whole thing you click on exit and then you with the keyboard you click on command Q to exit from command prompt now to see what's what stuff is in the folder you double click on the test on your document you see your test file and sure enough what I written is there okay well this is a video based on what I uh, just did uh, how to create a file within a directory using terminal uh, from my next video we'll be showing you guys how to uh, copy a file from one directory and pasting it to another using command prompt okay uh, well have a nice day and catch me next time